It's different. We haven't played Wales for a long time in the sevens format, so it's it's going to be a very different game for us just to see how they play. But we prepare for every game as the same, so high intensity and get ready to do some stuff on the pitch. Lay on! Well, second game in the uh, women's sevens tournament has started with England playing against Wales. Kitty Pickard, the referee, Kitty from Germany. From and the game has started with a, a, a mall situation where uh, not really sevens, but England ripped the ball free. And going Take forward. Eight, out. Slow ball. They have possession. Moving the ball wide to Rachel Bufford. Tackled. There was nothing. They go five first. Five. Let go. Again, England maintaining possession. They have numbers on the outside. A quick pass out of the tackle. A lovely pick up by England. And Natasha Hunt goes over for the first try of the game. Sarah McKenney ready to take the kick for the important extra points. Kick is missed and scores now five points to nil. You still need a ball. Time off. We need a ball. A little bit of trouble with two balls on the field. Get that cleared up and get the game started again. Time back on. England drop kick. High, short kick. Wheels put under pressure immediately. Rebecca Tfigo going forward. Wales recycle the ball. Trying to move the ball quickly to the outside. Good strong tackling by England. But again, Wales able to recycle, move the ball quickly to the outside again. Some unfortunate error with so much space to play with. Referee has no choice but to give a scrum. Please listen. Okay. Pause. Engage. Referee blowing whist the whistle quickly for an early push by uh, Wales in the scrummage. Taken quickly and the ball's moved again. Another lovely break by Natasha Hunt in under, in under the post for the second try. Nice break, good feet by uh, the English player, and a lovely break again by Natasha Hunt in under the post. Strong start by this English team who last weekend won the RB Sevens in Twickenham where they beat the Dutch national team in the final. Uh, very, very strong victory. England, one of the strongest teams in the world of women's sevens. Again, a high short kick, but well taken by South Africa, uh, by Wales. Play on, play on. 
No knock on, the play can continue. Again, handling errors again around the tackle area. Good scrummage by Wheels, very, very strong, but England managed to recycle the ball. Advantage. Advantage over. Turn over to Wales. Chance for them to build some possession. Moving the ball quickly again. Finally, a period of possession for Wales. No handling errors, they're holding on to possession finally. Rachel Taylor moving the ball again. Strong, compact, organized defense by England. Very difficult for Wales to break through here. They, they, not, they have space here if they move the ball quickly. Again, the handling error, letting them down. Good intentions, but they need to improve the level of their handling. With a minute to go to halftime, England looking very comfortable. Wells, Again. very, very strong scrum. Referee not happy, feeling that they were pushing too early. And clearly, Wales have a much stronger scrum than the English. Natasha Hunt moving the ball again. England, a lovely switch. And a good, good offload from the tackle. Natasha Hunt in again for her third try. Almost up to half time, the score 17 0 for England. Lovely, a great switch by the English. Able to offload that ball as, as she fell in the tackle. Good balance and good vision to see the players around her. Making it easy, an easy run in for Natasha Hunt. <laughs> Half time score 17 0 for England. The Half time break, about, the players have about a minute to get some, to drink something and try to adjust their tactics for the second half. I think England will be very happy with the way things are moving. They're very comfortable with the way they're playing. Wales, understanding they've got a strong forward spin. But they need to get more continuity into the game, make less hands in the They're to make an impression in the second half. The kick off from the start of the second half. England quickly into the play, moving the ball quickly. Good, strong running. England very comfortable in possession, very few handling errors. Very comfortable moving the ball around, moving around together. Good, well coordinated. Keeping wheels under pressure all the time. Good, quickly recycle ball. Wheels always, always chasing. England always in control. Chance for England to move the ball wide.
Yeah, they know they're the post for another easy try. Great work by the English number 11, Sarah McKenna, to make the space for her teammate. Good offload off the ground from the tackle. And in the end, an easy run in for the English player. Twenty-two nil for England. We're seeing again the, the great difference in strength and skill of the two teams. England, one of the very best teams in the world, and Wales, perhaps a new team in the World Lady Seven circuit, perhaps lacking the experience. Kickoff well taken under pressure from Wales, well laid back, giving Wales a chance to set up some play with the ball on the ground once again, making very hard work for the, the Welsh to get going for the good running by Welsh number six. Philip at Tutted. Ladies and gentlemen, Metro again, good handling by Wales finally Please getting some passes together. The Welsh player is isolated. Still managed to recycle. Ball is out again into the open field. Good skill again by Wales. Started the tackle, keeping the ball alive. Support player just a little bit too late from Wales. And the turnover, England back in possession of the ball. Very comfortable again with the ball in the hand. No need to hurry with 24 points ahead. Wales in possession. Again, going back into the, the busy traffic of the English defence. Perhaps need to look for more space. There's space on the, the left side of the field. And keep the ball coming across. Eleven. Welsh player off their feet at the tackle, not diving ten. in, killing the ball. The referee's playing advantage for not ten, not ten metres at the penalty. Oh, quick break in the blind side by England. Line out for England, oh, about 20 metres from the Welsh line. Quick throw in, good lift in the middle, and ball played away quickly. England coming back on the blind side. Good work by the Welsh defender to get her hands on the ball and prevent the release. Good phase of the game for Wales. Another good possession. The handling skills have improved tremendously in the second half. Charlotte Murray moving the ball back in possession again. 
looking for the opening to go forward. Philip Tubbett, well tackled by England, knock on advantage for England. Jen over. Jennifer Brightmore moving the ball quickly. Leanne Riley making a good break and putting the ball back for her teammates to use it quickly, moving away, staying on their feet very well. Wales getting more and more tired as the game progresses. A little handling error by England, knock on. Wheels moving the ball wide quickly. England's defence is always solid, taking the Welsh player over the sideline. <laughs> Quick injury break for the English player who's. Getting some attention from the physiotherapist who's ready to go again. Leanne Riley had a good second half. England ready to throw in. Katie Mason has the ball. Underarm throw, seen a lot of in sevens. Jade Phillips moving the ball wide to the centres. Philip Pitt looking for space. Good break again by Wales, but solid English defence making it very difficult for Wales to make progress Philip had a lot of possession always involved with the game working very hard another good break solid English tackling once again Abigail Chamberlain doing her work to get at the ball stopping the Welsh attack and going forward making the ball available Nice pass to the outside where Edda Evans takes the ball forward. Wales recycle once again. And Charlotte Murray moving the ball out wide to Philip Tudded. And on the outside, Rachel Taylor, the Welsh captain, looking for an opening, trying to break through. Not enough support, so she goes back into the inside. Jade Phillips taken down in the tackle, but makes the ball available. Wales choosing to go forward, keeping it close. Balls there ready to go, but both teams can play the ball. England getting their hands onto the ball quickly. Unfortunately, referee sees a knock on, and that is the end of the game. Final, final score, England 24, Wales nil. The, the last phase, last two or three minutes of the game will give Wales encouragement for the further games in the tournament. And England, of course, have performed as expected following their tremendous performance in London last weekend.